beat, yes. I got myself an aerator. Let's see it. An aerator for adding pumps. Because I need to make sure that my fish are getting quality supply of oxygen, you know. It is only on few occasions when the fish are still small. I don't usually allow too much water to enter the pond. So right now, I need to put a narrator because when the fish gets to like a month or two, then I will be allowing inflow of water all day long. But for now, I need them to have a narrator installed in the pond. So this narrator now, let's look at the ratings. This is 1,100, 1 1.1 kilowatt. That is 1,100 watts. We are running an inverter on the farm, but we are going to be relying on public electricity. The flow of this pond is rated at 30 meter cube per hour. So when you convert it to a liters per hour, that will, this pump will be able to displace about 30,000 liters of water per hour, and that will be about 720,000 liters of water per day, that is in 24 hours. So let's couple it and install this now. The rope is very long, but luckily for us, we have, Tari, spread this out for me. Luckily for us, we have a plug here. Then let's put our extension. The extension is on. Okay, behold this, don't plug it yet. I think this pump can also serve as a pond that can transfer water. Look at the, look at this. This is very wide. I think this should be about two inches or two and a half inches. So this is, if you want to use it to transfer water, you can pump water out of the pond. But we, we are using it as a hand aerator because it is an aerator. That's how you fix it. It's heavy, but it needs to float on the surface of the pond. So for it to float, we are going to be using this. Don't play too much with this. So this is what is going to keep it afloat on the water. So I need to enter water. This thing there. I think we will need a rope to tie it at the middle of the pond so that it doesn't move about. KB, come and carry, come and hold this thing for me. I just hope KB will not break something because I don't want it to be absent minded. Am I at the base? Yes, I'm standing on. Give me what I'm standing on. I'm standing on. You're standing on the bus. Come on, hold this thing. Let me extend the wire. Extend the wire for me. Can you extend the wire? Come on. Come on, You can leave the you can leave the net. Still lazy focus on the recording. Record them on what they are doing. Maybe I'm floating. I'm not floating. I am standing at the base of the pond. Do you want to enter? What, what is it? I, the like base, the, at the ground, the, ground. The, middle. Exactly. the middle of the pond. Do you want to come in? This is the aerator. I want to install it in a netting pond now. I know a lot of people don't use aerators in netting ponds in Nigeria. But me, whatever my fish needs, I must provide. Because these fish, they talk to me and I listen. So this is it. Yes, they do. <laughs> Now, now this thing will be floating about, but we need to tie it, and I don't want this fish to get sucked inside the suction. Oh, okay. The suction is small, so it can. So if you are installing this thing in your pond, you have to make sure that your fish 
and not as small that you're not stuck in fingerlings because they might get sucked inside this because it has a, a mesh, not blade. Uh, KB, I need you to plug that thing. Wait. KB, plug it and put it on. Let's see how it works. Plug it, yes. I just hope I won't get a little put it inside this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to tie it. Daddy, by sucking the water, so what yes. is now and bringing the fish with you? You cannot bring the fish. The fish are bigger than the holes in it. So, like I said, look at the size of this pond. This pond is about 18 meters in length, 6 meters in width, and the depth is about 1.3, 1.34, because I am 173 centimeters in height. So this should be about, this should be about 1.5 meters. So now, see, if you have a pond of 10 meters by 10 meters, which is about 1.5 meters depth, the volume of water in that pond should be about 150,000 liters. So we are going to be assuming that the volume of water inside this pond is about... 700,000 liters. So this pump has the capacity to pump the volume of water inside this pump within 24 hours. That is, the, the rate of pump is 30 meter cube per hour. It pumps about 720,000 liters in a day. So if the volume of water inside this pump is 700,000 liters, so this pump can easily aerate the old water inside this pump. So although this water is stagnant, but sometimes I allow water to come in. But I don't want to allow water to come in and because my fish are still small. So I want to be recycling this water. The function of this thing is to pump water up so it gets oxygenated. So oxygen will be available for the fish. So that is the reason why I'm doing this. It helps the fish to get optimum growth. So let's put it again. KB, get ready to put it on. Put it on. As it is pumping, you know, as it is pumping, the pump is moving about. So we need to tie it. We need to tie a stone or something heavy and tie it to the pump so that the pump will not leave the center of the pump. Because if it leaves the center of the pump, if it leaves the center of the pump, it will discharge water to the outer part of the pump. So we need to tie it. No, give me the binding wire. The fish are happy. That's okay. See how happy they are? Honda, Honda. Look at it. They are so happy. This is fantabulous. That means they will keep staying in that place. Like they will keep staying there so that if we run it again, they will be there. If we run it, they will be there. It's funny. It's like a hand, maybe. It's okay, but maybe I need to move it. Yeah, this is good. It's going to be a funny circle, don't you?